Hello everyone, this is Nova Pear and I'm just kind of over here by the graft tasting them in different stages of development. So the, the yellow ones are too mealy, mealy and no good. If you catch them on the green side, It's edible, right? But the flavor is subpar. Doesn't have much flavor to it. Like, it's edible, you know, but I would rather have something else like the red Bartlett. Although... See, look at this red Bartlett. Actually, it was it was worse. Like the first few years, it was just very scabby. This year, they're a little bit better. The red Bartlets. I have a couple other varieties here. This fruit has a bunch of varieties. My Olympic Asian pear broke at the graft here which sucks Olympic Asian pear it's um, kind of an interesting flavor the Olympic it's good um, kind of like a spicy touch of spiciness to it Definitely sweet, not a lot of acidity. It's a little bit on the softer side, on the mealy side for for the Asian pear types that I like. Like uh, some people seem to believe that this one here, I still have one hanging, is 20th century. It was actually ripe early and some of them just hang on. This one has like more of a sprightly flavor. A little smaller, but crunchier. A little more of like a melon type flavor. It doesn't have the spiciness. All the flavors are like on the on the lighter side of the spectrum, but but still a lot of flavors in this. This one's really good. I like this one more than Olympic. This one is Sekui. Sekui super dark and looks like it's got some worms inside this one has very intense flavor it doesn't have the spiciness like olympic but very intense intense sweet flavor for an asian pear i'd say pretty similar to the hosui And they're kind of like this dark orange color. They're they're a little bit past their prime. They're, this is an earlier ripening Asian pear. It's really good. So, if I was you guys and you're in the Pacific Northwest, and you can grow a lot of different pear cultivars, like look at this one, Director Alfan. I can't wait to taste this one because I had like four pairs on this graft last year and I think the dog stole them all before they ripened. So I really look forward to this one. It's a nice large pair with like very little scab or issues. This one might be a keeper. But like I was saying, if I was you guys and you, and you live in an area that can grow a lot of different other varieties, I would skip out on the Nova 
it's it's known to be disease resistant and easy to grow but it's just sub subpar on the flavor side so thank you all for watching i'll see you next time